sleep when you can play Dom Team Death, the free for all, CTF and sabotage. Man, I play them all from search up to headquarters, down the list of demolition. Objective to speak to win is my only mission of a sin. It's not by omission of all my team. <laughs> Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Hardcore Gamer for Life, and I'm here to bring you another gameplay commentary. As you can see, this one's with the FNFAL. As you can see in the beginning, this is called my Disco Inferno FNFAL Massacre, and the reason I chose to call it that, uh, I'll go into here in a moment. Uh, but first, I want to go into the reason why I decided to make this particular video and this particular class. I was watching a Zer Grizz commentary the other day, and for those few of you that uh, are... Uh, Call of Duty video fans and uh, haven't actually seen or heard of Zergriz, I'm going to go ahead and post the link below. Not that he needs a shout out from my tiny channel, uh, but he's just someone who's influenced me and uh, he's definitely a place to go if you're looking for exciting Call of Duty gameplay in pretty much any form. Uh, he's a great sniper and he can do just about anything else you can imagine in Call of Duty very, very well. And he's got actually quite a good commentator as well. And he was doing a commentary with a red gun, it was an AUG bar, I believe. And uh, he was basically saying that uh, he was going to stop doing commentaries with rag easy mode guns. You know, pretty much any fully auto guns he was going to can as far as doing commentaries with. Uh, because, well, you know, unless it was some kind of uh, setup that made it not easy mode, may maybe throw a, a thermal sight on it, you know, or something that gives it that extra challenge to it. Uh, because he just seen way too many people, you know, and, I, and we, I've seen it, we've all seen it. Uh, you know, people just post mainly matches with the easy mode guns, you know, which is understandable in a way, especially for those of you who are YouTubers who are listening to this, for people that post videos on YouTube and such, then you understand the sheer amount of work that can go into these videos sometimes. And, you know, sometimes it's just people, I can understand why people cut corners and just use the easy mode stuff because it's, you know, why is it called easy mode? It's very easy to get good gameplays with these guns. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that's not really how you set yourself apart from the crowd. There's people who do it and are very successful with it. But at the same time, uh, you know, getting started as a YouTuber, I personally think it's much more advantageous to use a lot of different classes to do things that people perhaps haven't seen or, you know, do things people have seen in a different way. You know, just vary it up uh, because there's so many people doing this that you got to do something to set yourself apart from the crowd. So anyway, why, let's get back. I was going to say, tell you why I call this my Disco Infernal Foul, although many of you probably pretty much realize by now. Using the Warsaw camo, which has ha heap and helpings of, let's see, what do we got? Like navy, teal, gray. And then I got the green lens with the teal star as my reticle, which, by the way, is a crap reticle. I'm using it strictly for style points here as I pick up the SR-71. And... Uh, you know, basically, it went back to that Zergriz commentary. You know, I are, like I said, I already kind of had the philosophy of posting twice as much non-easy mode as, as easy mode. But uh, once I heard that commentary, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of going to just go to a, a semi-auto weapon like the FAL. I'm going to set up, you know, a really outrageous-looking gun. I'm going to set up a reticle that makes, you know, is really not practical, makes no sense uh, from a combat standpoint. And I'm just going to basically try to set this class up for maximum challenge and go in and see what, how good of a game I can get. And I was actually quite happy uh, with the game I got here. Now, as you can see, that's kill number 10. Uh, or is that kill number 11? No, this, yeah, that's right. I'm waiting for kill number 11. Now, right here, I kind of get upset. I got an assist off that. Come on, man. I'm just nailing that guy, getting 80 assist. And this is dual, double XP, by the way, so that was only a 40 assist. But, hey. Doesn't matter, I don't need my SR-71, baby. I got the dogs! So anyways, guys, UAV, or spy plane, I guess I should say, SR-71 and dogs, as you've seen, are my kill streaks, And I use that kill streak a lot. Uh, you know, that's one thing, whereas, like I said, I don't use easy mode guns a lot or, get, or stick to the same classes a lot. Uh, but I, as far as kill streaks, I do use that setup quite a bit. And basically the reason is is because I've heard throughout the community, you know, people just really don't want to see chopper gunner, don't want to see gunship footage really all that much. 
you know i enjoy using them sometimes and i do use them in some of my videos uh but i like kill streaks that keep me on the ground kill streaks that keep me informed and that spy plane blackbird dogs combo is just awesome if you can pull it off uh which i generally most of the time have no problem pulling it off so anyways let's talk about a little more about class i'm using ghost pro warlord pro and ninja pro as my perks now let's talk about ghost ghost is a pretty hated perk as i used almost all my ammo there in uh Ghost is a pretty... Now watch this, guys. Watch this. I love this. How the hell does this guy not get me? I steal his 74U. I mean, it's kind of funny that this guy gets me, but yet I go up here. Someone's throwing like a Simtex in here. I'm waiting for this guy, waiting for this guy. I'm like, oh, I don't think he's coming. Oh, bad timing. But anyway, yeah, I was kind of I was talking about Ghost, wasn't I? I kind of got off the subject. But ghost camping, guys, it's, that's what's given ghosts such a bad rap. Is, you know, people sitting in the corner, people laying at the top of the stairs, and just camping with that ghost perk, man. And personally, I don't see how they do it. You know, I've done a little bit of ghost camping in my Black Ops career, uh, but very, very, very little. Uh, because I'm just so, such an impatient player. I'll sit there for a little while, and then I'll you know what, screw this. I'm going to go out and find me some players, man. I'm going to go out and find me someone to kill. Uh, as you can see, I'm uh, doing the absolute opposite of camping in this round. It's just a full-out rush. And, uh, you know, that's really what ghost should you be used for. Because ghost camp camping actually sort of defeats the whole purpose of ghost. If you Think about it. If you're camping, people know where you are. What's the purpose of ghost? To make it so people don't know where you are. So why would you ever camp with ghost? Now, ninja with ghost. When you're ghost rushing, as I am here... Ninja is very, very helpful because, I mean, already, okay, you're basically trying to be remain uh, unseen or off the enemy radar, if you will, with Ghost. Uh, but, you know, if you don't use Ninja, it doesn't matter if you're off the radar. They can hear you coming from a mile away, especially if they got a head headset and Ninja Pro themselves. They can hear you coming from even further away. So, you know, uh, I'd say Ghost Rushing is far superior strategy to Ghost Camping. I don't think I would have got two sets of dogs in this round as I do here. By ghost camping but uh, I get it ghost rushing and uh, it works out quite well for me had a great time playing this round so anyways guys let, I'm gonna get into some shout outs before I'm done with this game so uh, I'm gonna kind of let the rest of the gameplay speak for itself and uh, give some shout outs to some of my uh, YouTube buddies so let's start out with my buddy maintain maintain 03 I'm, by the way i'm going to put all their links in the description and probably give a little annotation for each for a few seconds when i mention their name but anyway my boy maintain now he's got a great channel he does a lot of sniper gameplays and he's a beast sniper a great sniper and uh he puts together so you know gameplays a free-for-all team deathmatch dom and does awesome commentaries over him he does some great one take commentaries uh, he's a smooth commentator he's got a great commentary style uh, in addition to that, he puts together some great montages and mini-tages. And not only that, but he has a series where he posts subscribers gameplay called Oh No You Didn't. And uh, it's like 30 seconds to a minute of your best gameplay. So if you're actually looking to get featured on a YouTube channel, I would definitely sub to him and uh, you know send him your best 30 seconds to a minute. And uh, if you send him some nice gameplay, I can pretty much guarantee you he's going to post that for you. Uh, you know, so anyways, guys, let's talk about my second guy, and that would be a punk bear. That's his YouTube name and Xbox Live Gamer tag, and uh, he puts together some great stuff. He's a very little-known channel, like my man Maintain. Both these are pretty small channels, uh, smaller than mine anyway, uh, which is not big at all either. And uh, my man Punk Bear, he puts together some fun tages, uh, some montages. Also some, uh, you know, good gameplays, but in, in addition to that, he'll do some live comms where he might not necessarily be beasting, but, you know, the reactions and the stuff that's said is just funny as hell. Uh, you know, he puts together a series called Fragmented Thoughts, where uh, he kind of goes over his thoughts on games and gaming industry and things in general that gamers are into, and that's actually a really good series that I'm excited to see the next uh, edition of. And finally, let's go into Mr. Uh, my man Crazy Shootin'. Uh, he's from Sweden, and he's a commentator. He does, like, Amnesia Minecraft playthroughs, but he also does some beast-ass Call of Duty stuff. So definitely check out all these guys. Their links are in the description below. As always, thank you so much for viewing. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like what you see. This has been Hardcore Gamer for Life, and I'm signing out. Keep an eye out on the channel for dual comps with Punk Bear and Crazy Shooting in the next couple weeks. Thanks, guys. Peace.
from UAVs to spy planes, Harriers to Blackbirds, BVR to file share. Keep it on the dial where you know that it's hot. Cause you know that on my channel, I upload a lot of videos of all different types of varieties, games.